What's up you guys, it's your girl Amber and we are back with another video and today is the first official doctor's appointment day. It is Tuesday, February 7th and my appointment is at what time is my appointment? Oh, 9.30. So I dropped off all of my kids. Now, my four-year-old did say he had a little bit of a stomach ache. So he did decide to, well, I did decide to let him stay home because it is very rare that he actually stays home. So when he said he had a stomach ache this morning, I said, you know what? I already have half the day off and I work from home. So might as well just let him come for the ride. So again, today is uh, February, Tuesday, February 7th, and we are going to our first six week doctor's appointment. I know I'm six weeks. I don't know how many days I am, but I know I'm six weeks. So we're going to that first appointment and I'm super excited. My husband unfortunately cannot come because um, he did just start a new job. So right now, you know, they have the whole probation period and he can't really take time off. So I'm hoping for the next doctor's appointment he can come, but yeah, so we are going to head out. It's going to be my son and my mom. My mom's coming with me to my first doctor's appointment. So we're super excited for that. You know, I'm going to insert some clips and show you guys everything like that and go into full detail about what we have. I don't have my nails done, so don't come for me. My eyebrows need done. It's a whole thing. I'm going tomorrow to get all that done. Tomorrow's Wednesday. It's my day off. So I'll be going tomorrow to go get my nails done for Valentine's Day so that way I can po post cute pregnancy pictures. We're super excited to finally be making the announcement. There's a few people I have not told yet because I wanted to wait till after my first doctor's appointment to start telling some people. So there are some people that we have not quite told yet, but um, we are super excited to be telling people after this doctor's appointment and I got to hurry up and get going. So I will see you guys when we get there. Yeah. go straight. This way? Nope, this way. So we are waiting for the what the midwife to come in to talk. So they confirmed that I am six weeks and four days and the due date is September 29th. So my little man is getting very impatient up in here. He's like, I'm ready to go. And they gave me this book. I'll show you guys. They give you this book. Don't mind my nails, they're not done. They get done tomorrow. So yeah, this is first moments are born here. So precious, so precious. All right, you guys. So I have officially left the doctor's appointment and we're outside my mom's doctor's office because she came to pick up some medicine. But yeah, we left the doctor's appointment. Everything looks good. The baby looks nice and healthy. Um, my next appointment is for March 13th. I scheduled it pretty early so that way my husband can be there because unfortunately he couldn't make it to this first one. But my next one, I have scheduled it so that way he can come. They're going to do the genetic testing, the blood work for like Down syndrome and everything like that. I did agree for that because I just want to make sure the baby is as healthy as possible as early as we can and everything like that. Um, they also will do um, gender testing as well, but that is, they send it in an email. I think she said like, you find out it like seven days later, they'll send it to your email and everything like that. So fingers crossed for a little girl, we go home, but yeah, what's wrong? He has been on his best behavior. He has been with me and my mom all morning on his best behavior. I'm so happy. He's back there eating his McDonald's um, because it is about, I don't really know what time it is right now. I think it's like 1130 the last time I checked. But yeah, so the first appointment, they did the ultrasound, which you seen the baby. And then the second, um, we had to go see the midwife, which she just, you know, was seeing if I had any questions, telling me what the next appointment will be. And then the third thing I had to do was blood work. So they had to do, you know, all the typical blood work that they have to do when you first find out, um, you know, everything like that. So that was all good. What, baby? I, I don't want the cheese dinner. You done with it? Yeah. All right, you just put it in your wrapper. Just put it in your wrapper and I'll get it. 
So yeah, everything's good with that. I'm super excited. By the time you guys have seen this video, you guys have already been aware of everything. So we're super excited. I have not told the boys yet. I don't know if he even knows what I'm talking about. Hopefully not, but we have not told the boys quite yet. So that video will probably be up after this one maybe, or it might be the next two videos. I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, we're super excited. If you see that on my tooth, it's a tooth gem. Don't think there's something on my teeth. It's a tooth gem. So yeah, super excited. Like I said, just waiting for my mom to come out of her doctor's office from getting her medicine. And oh, here she comes. So I'm gonna go ahead and head off here because we're gonna head home. I actually have to finish my work day out because today is Tuesday, like I mentioned before. And I only took a half day this morning. So I'm actually gonna go back into work when I get home. And yeah, so I will see you guys when I get home. Love is no more than a million It goes on and on